Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 If you truly love this interview, the mad high load of flows is our of the spinning W22 boxes madman. Good as fuck it is 13 and all around usual guy. Um can I leave by this door now? Because uh, I'd rather not go by the lower path. Hmm. I suppose the answer is no, no, I can't. I'll take, I'll take his malaco. He doesn't need it. Plus, I might need it for all the ultraviolets I may have to perform. Or no, I could just drop it on the ground. Because it's just a misc item. It's not even. Is it even aid? Does it do anything? It just is. Huh. Alright, I still kind of want the key for the outer door. Because I'd rather not go back down. Back down sounds like a terrible place to be. Boom. Hmm. Pinkerton! Where do you keep your keys? That way? You must keep something this way, right? And apparently not your keys. Just your bathroom, your bedroom. Do you keep keys in the bath? No. That's an, that's a non-functional thing on my cheek. Uh, do you have any keys? Stay sharp. There. No, you don't have any keys. Don't let your not for me, anyway. But that's fine. Uh, anything in the suitcase? No, it's an unboxed suitcase. Look where you're going? Sorry. Um, pardon me while I borrow your big book of science. Thank you. Um, are you sure you don't have any keys for the outer door? Okay. Guess I'm going back down again. After I have this nice little thingy, big book of science. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Don't read that, eat that. Data. Oh, I think we have a note now. As the River City River Station Science Outpost has displayed significant stability in its location, the reliable profitability for supply traders, but bunch burgeoning civilian settlement has sprung up in the available space on our ship. To better protect and organize this growing community, we declare all oh, a three man council will act as we declare a three man council will act as a governing body to represent the interests of the residents of the newly dubbed Rivet City. How riveting. So we had Annette Holmes and Brad Danvers. So there's absolutely no word of the asshole. I don't even remember his name. A banner? Bennett? Bonnet? Monkey Man Space Machine. Yeah, that was it. That's the name. Monkey Man Space Machine. Oh, what would I do for a name like that? I guess nothing. Nothing at all. That sounds like a terrible name. What do we have in the middle box? Nothing. What do we have here? Nothing. Here, here, here. N oh. Reward money. That's not nothing. That's actually pretty expensive. And in this direction we have drink, 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 you drop. Don't actually do that, that doesn't sound very healthy at all. Oh, 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 what's this then? Seriously? Alright, cool. Guess this is a faster way out then, maybe. Uh, let's try. And the most important thing is that we are out. Breathe. Can we travel from here? Probably not. The Great Ditch. Yes. Oh, we can travel from water. How positively wondrous. Okay. Now the kid's supposed to be in that thing. Still. 
And yes, I'm still paranoid of the environment. Hello. Okay, he's not in there. Kid. Kid. Where are you, kid? Kid. Are you inside the house? Oh, you're with the scientist. That's surprising. Um, there was no one there. Brian? Brian! Where are you, Brian? Would you like this large ham while I take big steps? No? Okay. The, where the hell could he be? I found a potential place for him. But there is no sign of him himself. I'm well hidden. There's no no life signs. None. There would have been no one here to kill him. But aren't kids immortal? In real life, of course. Hmm. No, no, no. Hardcore Barker, but um, no signs of Brian. Where else could he be? Could he be down in this bloody metro station? <sighs> That's entirely too plausible. I'm just gonna look down there and see if that is in fact the case. Which it obviously might not be. But it could be. Who knows? Maybe it is. Or not. Can I just sprint through now? There shouldn't be anything in here. Everything should be dead. But you know, I'll just keep my gun handy. Because... Handy guns are best guns. And there's nothing to target. Good. I think it might be really pleasant if I actually remembered what direction the pastor was in. Not in Falls Church, that's for sure. Ah, down towards Queen Anne's art uh, uh, hatchery. That's where. That should be about right. So turn right. Anything here? Nope. Wait. Wait. What? Oh, alright. Just keep following this path for now. Still a turn to take. I kind of expected the scientist to just let the kid chill around in the preservation station thingy. Oh, remember this guy? I killed him. Lugnut. That was fun. He was all like boom, boom, and then I was like pew, pew, pew. Pow. I didn't actually. No, actually, I sawed him to death. That's a completely different retelling of the men's side cave. Ah. It's as if I'm trying to bend the truth, which I clearly am not. I suppose it was just a misplacement of words, shall we say? Well, that is what they say. Anyway. 
Where the fuck is the scientist? Yo, are you here? No, there's no one here either. That's just fucking brilliant, isn't it? Could he be down there? There's no way he would be down there. But sure he should look at the shack. The shacky shack. Of shackiness. Oh, what's here? Reward money. Nice. Good thing I came down here again. I love reward money. Which is why I said it. Instead of collecting it. Maybe I should collect them. Could be fun. Though it would be much less amusing than spatulas. So I don't collect spatulas either. I just, you know, occasionally stumble upon a spatula and I'm like, Spatula! What a divine thing it is. Oh, so don't tell me you wanna fight me. God damn it. Uh, Mr. Scientist man, do you happen to have a pacifier? <sighs> this is fairly unpleasant, isn't it? Mr. Scientist man. Okay, Mr. Scientist man is moving in a direction I could probably interact with. With him, with. Where's he at? Over there. You, come on. <sighs> Dr. Lesko. This isn't the first time he's done this, I think. When I first played the queen, as to not harm him, he also. Well, try to run away from me. It's probably because his AI recognizes him, him as an ally of the Queen. Which is problematic because I do not intend to hurt either party. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Have you seen Wilkes? Hey. Let's go. Have you seen Wilkes? Time to start back at square one. Uh, yes, what did you need? Uh, uh I don't know anything. Alright, be that way. Guess I'm just returning to the surface then. Uh. How's my armor doing? Do you need any? Might as well take this. Come on then, repair it. Oh, I actually had a spear. Never mind. Well, the spear probably wouldn't have fixed much, but you know, it was there, it existed. Um, what if Brian's actually at home? That's probably not a possibility. He could be using the shack there. Just gonna check inside there again. To make sure. Or he could be in here. You know, Milk's house. Milk's! Are you in here? Are you sure? Where are you? Oh. Holy moly! You act. I hope you found me a place to live. Yes. Where I said she'd take you in. You really found her? Oh, thank you so much! I can't believe everything you've done for me. Most people would have kept on walking when I ran up to them screaming like I did. I'll get my stuff together and move on out there right away. Come visit me sometime. Uh, safe travels, right? Okay. So, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Next time on Fallout 3. Hey there. Hey.
lots of girls like you doing a blessing like this. <laughs> 